Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we have just witnessed history. This is something that will forever go down in the history books, something that I will tell my children, my grandchildren, my great-grandchildren, and so on and so forth, and this will be talked about for many generations to come. This will go down as one of the biggest sports moments in American history, but for all the wrong reasons. I have been watching American football as far back as I could possibly remember, and the only other time collectively as a unit, everyone in the entire NFL, no matter the fan base, no matter the rivalries, was clowning one specific player was Mark Sanchez with the infamous butt fumble. And now a new contender has risen from the deepest, darkest parts of NFL football buffoonery with Jabril Peppers making American football history in the absolute dumbest way possible. Well, maybe some people call it dumb, maybe some people call it smart, but it definitely is a little ridiculous. Jabril Peppers became the first NFL player to wear this football helmet pillow thing. Look, and I don't even know what it's called. The first time I've seen these things was in 7-on-7, seven seven. but back when I was doing the 7-on-7 seven seven and traveling around and competing around for college scouts and trying to earn scholarships, it was really just an optional thing. You didn't really have to wear it and there were very few people wearing them however earlier this year the nfl dropped the news on us that they will allow nfl players to wear this little helmet pillow i mean they're calling it a protective guardian cap but i'm gonna just keep calling it a helmet pillow because that's just what it looks like to me but the nfl said they were gonna allow players to wear this during the games and immediately the amount of people were saying yo this is so ridiculous i doubt any player will actually want to do this just because of the sheer embarrassment of doing this you know a sport like american football is definitely not a soft man's game. You already know generations upon generation of athletes will be clowning on you if you wear this freaking thing. And that is exactly what is going on with Jabril Peppers as he made American football history and became the first player to wear this in an actual NFL game. Every American football fan is clowning this guy, regardless of what team you're a fan of, if you're a rival or not, everybody and their mama is laughing about this whole situation. And it's probably the funniest thing that will ever go down in the history books. But there, there are some people, of course, that are taking it a little bit personally and are genuinely upset and saying that, you know, they're calling him soft, saying that they lost all respect for him. They lost respect for the New England Patriots organization, especially because the New England Patriots are known for their defense. So now that they have a defensive player wearing one of these helmet pillows, you know, people are basically saying it makes them look soft. When they announced that they were going to allow players to do this, I didn't really expect that many players to actually do it. But the type of players I actually did think would do it would be offensive line and defensive linemen. And that's the type of position where I think it's rightfully they should probably do it because it has been very well documented about the negative effects on the brain of these players that play these types of positions and constantly clashing play after play game after game season after season so really in my eyes th th those are the type of positions that I would only really give the pass to for wearing this type of thing I certainly don't think Jabril Preppers is getting that much action to where he really needs that how many tackles a game is he really getting football now especially in the NFL has become a passing game so much more than it has been a running game so Jabril Peppers playing the safety position I just don't really think he's getting that much action I'm sure most of his job is probably him covering receivers rather than actually running full speed downhill coming into contact with running backs you know what I mean how much contact is he really getting per game but really I just find this whole situation absolutely hilarious especially because it will go down in the history books Jabril Peppers is the first and only person to wear this thing and I wouldn't be surprised if there's like a line of glass in some arena somewhere and you see all the helmets Helmets down to like the leather helmets with no face masks to the, the small helmets with the one bar and go all the way up to the freaking pillowcase helmet. Of course, I gotta hear your thoughts about all of this. So feel free to let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. As always, I thank you all so much for the support and I'll catch you in the next video.